What's going on guys? So today the PS5 Slim was just announced and I had to get on camera and tell you guys all the details about that. So without further ado, I'm going to show you guys this new PS5 Slim trailer. So the most noticeable difference here is the storage. It is now going to be one terabyte instead of the PS5's original, I think it was like 825 gigabytes and there was even less usable storage for the PS5. So now I don't know if this terabyte is all usable or not, or if it includes, you know, the software and like the system data, but um, that's still a big upgrade in terms of the PS5 storage, which is really cool to have. They're no longer calling it a slim variant like they did with the PS4 slim or the PS3 slim or even the PS2 slim. And we can't talk about the new PS5 without the looks. This new PS5 is looking pretty cool in my honest opinion. Um, I'll be the first to tell you guys that I loved the original PS5 look. A lot of people hated it just because it was so, um, you know, out there and different. I really liked the step they were going with, and uh, it's pretty cool to me. But with this new PS5, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys it is uh, pretty cool as well. I don't know if I like it more or less than the current one so far. It's going to have to grow on me. But so far, I probably, I think I would have to say I like it a little bit more just because of the way that the um, gloss is on the top so that's another cool change they have the four plates there's a line going through it um and the top face plates are glossed and the bottom are the original matte so i think that's my favorite thing about it so far it's pretty sick the vertical stand holder is pretty cool as well it's probably another favorite of mine it is uh looks like it's metallic at least um it's thinner it's lighter looking and it's more sleek than the original uh, ps5 vertical stand so that's pretty cool Another change we have is the PS5's LEDs. This new one has the LEDs going all the way down. The original PS5 had them fading out fairly quickly, which was all right. It wasn't bad. I mean, it's the only thing we had so far, so we couldn't complain. But the new one, I think I like a little bit more for sure. So with all these cool new goodies, we have a little bit of a price increase as well with the new consoles. So the PS5 with the disk drive is going to be $499, which is actually going to be the same as the original. But with the digital version, the PS5 Slim, I believe it's going to be $449, which is going to be uh, 50 bucks more than the original Slim. Another cool feature of the PS5 is going to be the new disk drive that it has. It's actually a removable disk drive, which is super cool to have. Um, so if you opt in to buy the digital disk, um, which is just, you know, the PS5 Slim, the extra slim one with no disk drive, if you opt in to grab that and you change your mind later, you could always buy the disk drive secondhand, which I believe is $99. And then you just get the new faceplate that accommodates the disk drive. You hook up the disk drive and it's good to go. It's going to be pretty cool, pretty unique idea. And um, vice versa, you know, if you got the disk drive and you don't like the way it looks, it's too bulky. You can just delete the disk drive and throw on the faceplate and make it a slim. And, uh, you know, that's a pretty cool idea. I like the whole module design of the new PS5. Another design change of the new PS5 is it has a couple more uh, sleek edges. Um, like in the front, it tapers off. Uh, you can kind of tell with the gloss versus the matte it looks pretty nice and uh, yeah i like that little angle change as well as the um, button for the disk drive is now actually you know a part of the disk drive and it's not in the center where the power button was i know it was confusing you know ejecting your disk and not actually turning your ps5 off so that's a good little change as well so let me know down in the comments below guys if you guys like the new design of the ps5 it's not too different from the original so i'm assuming most people won't like it as much but i really dig it it's pretty cool it, uh there's also a couple notable like smaller features that you might not be able to tell uh, until you get it in person i believe you know the black band that encompasses the whole part of the you know internal of the ps5 looks like it might be like have a, have a divot in it it looks pretty cool all right guys that's going to do it for another video don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. I love watching my subscribers grow higher and higher. Uh, it really motivates me to make more content for you. Um, so in the comments, go ahead and tell me what you guys want to see out of this channel specifically. I do a lot of different things, so I'm kind of trying to specialize in maybe what you guys want to see more of. So uh, yeah, just let me know. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on another one.